1. Install iTunes. You will need to install iTunes before connecting your iPad to your computer. iTunes can be downloaded for free from the iTunes website. See this guide for more details on installing iTunes. If you already have iTunes installed, ensure that it is up to date. 2. Turn the iPad on. Your iPad will need to be powered on in order to connect to your computer. If the iPad is off, press and hold the power button for a few seconds until the Apple logo appears. If the iPad is out of battery, let it charge before connecting it to the computer. The iPad will charge while connected to the computer, but very slowly. 3. Connect the iPad via USB. Use the charging cable that came with your iPad, or a replacement cable that works with Apple devices. Make sure to plug the USB into a port directly on your computer, plugging it into a USB hub may cause connection problems. 4. Install the iPad software. The first time you connect your iPad to a Windows computer, Windows will install a few drivers. This process is automatic, but may take a few moments. Your Windows computer will need to have internet access in order to install the iPad drivers. 5. Open iTunes. iTunes will usually open automatically when the iPad is connected to the computer. If it doesn't, you can open iTunes from the start menu or by using the desktop shortcut to start interacting with your iPad. 6. Set up your new iPad. When you connect your iPad to your computer for the first time, you will be prompted to run the first time setup. Don't worry if you've been using your iPad already, this doesn't erase anything. All you will be doing is giving your iPad a name. 7. Select your iPad. Once iTunes is open, you will be able to select your iPad from the Devices section of the left sidebar. If the sidebar isn't visible, click View Hide Sidebar. Selecting your iPad will allow you to manage the content on it. If your iPad is not showing up in the Devices menu, check to see that it is turned on. If it is still not connecting, you may need to put it into recovery mode. 8. Use iTunes to sync your content. Once you've selected your iPad, use the tabs along the top of the iTunes window to manage the content that you want to sync to it. You can add music, movies, apps, books, podcasts and more. In order to add content to your iPad, it will need to already be in your iTunes library. See this guide for detailed instructions on syncing your files to your iPad. See this guide for instructions on adding apps to your iPad using iTunes. 9. Eject your iPad when finished. After you are finished syncing content to your iPad, right-click on it in the Devices section of the sidebar. Select Eject. This will allow you to safely disconnect the iPad from the computer.